Hi, good evening, people. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Teacher. Yes. Voy a estar de voy a estar allá antes de los minutos porque no estoy en la casa todavía estoy algo lejos. Okay, okay, that's okay. Thank you, Eduardo. Let me know, please. Sure. Igualmente yo este necesito sacar unas cosas del trabajo que me han exigido, entonces voy a estar de oyente y sacando lo que debo de sacar. Okay, that's okay. All right. No Gracias, problem. teacher. Yes, I understand. Uh, okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure, you know, another day, another dawn. It's good to be here again. Today we have a very interesting topic. It's it's kind of easy to understand, uh, but yeah, it's interesting. Yes. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hello, all of you. Yes. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. Okay, let me take attendance. Uh, Carlos Albert, Alberto Castro Santana. Present teacher. Hi, good evening, Carlos. Thank you for being Hi. here. Wait. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. Thank you, Carlos, for being here. Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Daisy is not here yet. Okay. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher. Hi. Thank you, Eduardo, for being here. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present teacher. Hello, Emerson. Thank you for being here. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. No, okay. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. No, Imelda. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. I am here. Present teacher, voy a estar de oyente. Good night. Okay, good evening. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> hello, hello. Present. Yes, yes. Imelda. Hello, <laughs> thank you for being here. Jose, Erna, Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. No, he's not here yet. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Hi, thank you for being here, Bernardo. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Hi, Jose, thank you, Jose, for being here. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. No, okay. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Esto que estoy Hi. en la casa, pero tengo una reunión en línea ahorita. Urgencia en el trabajo, voy a estar doyendo. Okay, Gracias. okay, Luis. Thank you for being here, Luis. Nestalí Humberto Ramírez Ramos. No, nope. Nestalí is not here. Oscar Noé Magalla Martínez. No, nope. okay. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Hello, Sara. Thank you for being here. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Hello. Present teacher. Oh, yes, yes. I see you. I see you now. Jansi Kelita Olivares Raimundo. No, nope. okay. She's not here yet. Carla teacher, ella, ella va de camino para su casa porque acabamos de salir de trabajar. Ok, thank you, Carlos, for letting me know. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I see, I see her now. She's there. Thanks. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Guerra Guerra. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granados. 
Nope. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Carla and Carlos. Thank you guys for being here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's continue. Okay, people, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna start right now. Let's do this, everybody. Today is a beautiful day. Let me show you the presentation. Okay, guys, do you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. All right. Look at this. It says it says here, just wait. All right. Here we go. It says how to use could. Could. Yesterday, we were, well, we're gonna review. But today we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn how to use the word or the modal verb could, right? The pronunciation is could. C U D could. All right. This is class number 17. So on this one, it's not idioms, okay? It's not idioms. It's should. I'm sorry about this. It's not idioms. It's, you remember anything about should? That's the question. People, do you remember anything about should? Uh, is for give advice. Okay, it's when we when we give advice. All right. Okay. We what else? To, what else? Uh, suggestion. I'm sorry. We used to give a suggestion. Okay, we use it for suggestions. Okay, what else? Guys, what else? To recommend something. And to recommend something, right? We use should, well, generally, is, I'm sorry? Is a good idea and ideas. bad idea. idea. Ideas, good ideas and bad ideas. Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Yes, so uh, as I was saying, generally speaking, generally speaking, uh, should is for advice, okay, concept. Okay, in different in different categories. Okay, in different categories: academic, economical, family. Okay, uh, with friends, etc. Okay, yes. So now I would like to get two or three examples, people, using should. Please, anybody, anybody. Guys. Anyway, you should take dinner early. You should, sorry, repeat. You should take the dinner early. Take, right? Oh, you should have. <laughs> there you go. There you you should go. have okay. dinner early. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good idea or good advice. Guys, continue. Me teacher. Yes. We should arrive on time at work. Yes, we should arrive on time at work. Very good, very good. Good example, good example. Thank you, thank you. Another person, guys? Uh, me. We shouldn't use the phone while we drive. We should, should or should not? Shouldn't. Okay, repeat, please. Bernardo. We should not use the cell phone while we drive. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, yes. Very good example. Very good example. We should not drive a car. Oh, sorry. Use a cell phone while you drive or while driving. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? Guys, anybody else? Example. Me, example, we should. Yes, Tatiana. Tell me. You shouldn't drink whiskey. Okay, you shouldn't you shouldn't drink whiskey. All right, all right. Very good example. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Guys, anybody else? 
you shouldn't uh, smoke. Smoke, you shouldn't smoke. Smoke what? <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> okay, smoke cigarettes. You should not or you shouldn't smoke cigarettes. Very good example, very good example. Thank you for the good idea. Yes. Guys, anybody else? No, nobody else? Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. Let's continue. Here we go. Now, I'm going to show you the page or the pages that we're gonna be working on today. Look, it's page number 41. So guys, go to your books on page number 41. Please let me know when you see the book. Ready to check. Yes. Okay, very good. So we continue with company procedures and policies. All right. Today, today's objective is this one. I will be able to express possibility to request permission. I will be able to express possibility to request permission. But we got a question here. We got a couple of questions here. How often do you ask for permission? People, how often do you ask for permission? Tell me. I rarely ask for permission. Okay. Rarely? Rarely, rarely, yes. Rarely. Okay. He rarely asks for permission. Okay, very good. That's, that's okay. People, what about you, the rest? How often do you ask for permission? I hardly ever. Okay, you hardly ever ask for, for permission. I ask for permission. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's 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 okay. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, let me see uh, another person down here. Hmm. Tatiana, what about you? How often do you ask for permission? I um, usually ask per permission because... Ask for, ask go... for. What? Ask for permission. Uh, uh, excuse me. I usually... I I usually ask for permission because go, go uh, a hospital. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat, repeat the last part? Because I go a hospital. You go to a hospital. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me see down here, uh, Bernardo. What about you? How often do you ask for permission? I ask for permission twice in a year. Okay, I ask for permission twice a year. All right, all right. That's okay. That's okay. Very good. Now we're going to continue here with the second question. What is the procedure to request one? People, what's the procedure to request one? Guys? How do you say llenar un... Fill out a form? Ah, fill out a form, yes. First, I need to fill out a form and send to the human resources. Mm -hmm. and that's it <laughs> okay that, that's fine that's fine well let me tell you about, about my situation if I want to ask for permission I need to fill out a form all right fill out a form if I have uh, proof or evidence that, that I'm not able to attend or go to the company okay I have to present that yes but I usually, I, I just usually fill out a form and that's it, yes. 
with no problems. Uh, let me see. I want to know about about another person. Gerardo, are you there? No, nope, he's not there. All right. Uh, let me see. Tatiana, what about you? Yes. Um, sorry, teacher. Sorry, I voy de camino a... a la oficina. Okay, okay. I have right. I have I have right. Uh, emails. I'm sorry. I have right. Uh, emails. Uh, I have two. I have two right. I <laughs> I have two right email. No, right. I have to write an email. Ah. Oh. I, I have to write an email. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. All right. That's that's okay. Now, <clears throat> look, down here we have a conversation that we're going to read and practice. But let's go down here. Look, let's read. We got Hank and Julie over here. Let me read, listen to this, and please let me know if you got questions about the vocabulary later on. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to the, the HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. All right, very simple. Questions about this, this vocabulary here in this conversation. Guys? No. No questions? No teacher. No questions. No teacher. All right. What about pronunciation? We're good? Yes? Okay. But okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read again for you guys to listen to the pronunciation. Okay. And then you will practice each other. Okay. Let's do this. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to the HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, there you go. Uh, we're going to practice, we're going to practice this conversation, and also we're going to go and work on part number three, okay? Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I know many people are just listeners today, but uh, hopefully some of you will be able to participate. That's why I'm going to create only five groups, okay? Just five, we go uh, to different groups, okay? People? Please join and I will see you there, okay, to practice, to practice, okay? Let's go, let's go. Guys, can you please join the groups? I'm just waiting for you to join the groups.
Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. We have a question. Okay, and I have an answer. When, when, when we are speaking, we have to, to say human resources or only... HR. Uh, HR. HR. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. HR. Okay. HR. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong with Barry? What's well, wrong with Barry? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for a per for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, good morning, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty's not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go to see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's, he's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, all right. People, excellent. Thanks. Okay. What's the problem with Betty? Ah, uh, he, he, she. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> you don't remember, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> You don't remember the problem she with her. Uh, her, her, mother, her mother is six. There you go. Her mother is six. And do you know some someone who has a similar situation? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I don't. Simple, right? Yes. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. But what about you, Bernardo? Me, me either. <laughs> the same, right? The same. <laughs> and you, teacher? Oh, no, I don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Not really. Maybe, but I, I, I can't remember right now. I cannot remember. Okay. But it's, it is possible, yes. Yes. Okay, people, excellent. Thank you for your participation in the conversation and thank you for answering the questions in part number three. Right, let me go check on the other groups, okay? Okay, hey, teacher. Yes. See you soon, teacher. See, See you soon, soon of course. I, I think all of you are listeners today, right? Listeners. Yes? Okay. I I take that as a yes. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see here tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. A form. form. A form. Continue. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Empiezo. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but the Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Wait, well, the, my mother is sick and my sister can go see here tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right, you could go to human resource department and request a form. 
full a mention the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Usted tiene que empezar, va. Sí, lo volvimos a hacer igual. Sí. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Uh, Riley, what's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother. Well, oh, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you call us for permission. He is right. You could go to Human Resource Department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. 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 Decent. Decent. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's continue, people, with the part number three. Yes. The part number three. What is the problem with Betty? Her mother is sick and her sister uh, can go see her tomorrow. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, Betty's mother is sick and Betty's sister is unavailable. Uh, yes. yes, exactly, exactly, yes. What about the second question? Do you know someone who had a similar situation? Uh -huh. In my case, I don't know because I have a medical leave for four days. Okay, okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I'm, in my case, no, nah, not really. Xiomara, what about you? Este, I don't know, teacher. You don't know? <laughs> it, it's okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, I understand. We, it's It's difficult to... It's difficult to remember, yes. Okay, people, let me continue checking the groups, okay? Okay, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Are you the only one, Emerson? I believe. Okay, that's okay. We, we can pra I can practice with you. Don't worry. Okay. Yes. Then we can practice. Okay. Let me start. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hans. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Really? Sorry. Well, my my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You can ask for permission. He, he is right. You could go to the HR department, HR. Then, HR department, then request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, now you start, Emerson. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? Well, Julie is right. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. All right. Emerson, let's continue here with part number three. It says, what is the problem with Betty? Tell me. Um, her mother is sick. Okay. Her mother is sick. And also, is there another problem? Um, and uh, in her sister right? can go. Her sister cannot, her. cannot go cannot go see her, her mother. Yes. So she's got two problems. Second question, do you know a person who has been in the same situation or in a similar situation? Yes, uh, yes, I did too. Really? Tell me about that. 
Tell us the story. Well, um, my friend have a brother sick and a constellation and he need uh, always permission for go see her. Okay, okay, all right, all right, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, I don't think these people are available. Joanna is not, and Cecilia is not available either. So Ulysses, just let me go to another group and we're gonna go back to the main session, okay? Okay. So again, this this one. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Did you finish, right? You finished, right? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. We are speaking about our jobs. <laughs> about about your boring jobs, right? <laughs> oh, Bernarda ha, has a oh. a very Busy job. <laughs> really? My job is super easy. De caer mal en mi trabajo. Huh? De caer mal en mi trabajo. <laughs> Eres de calidad, calidad. solo anda chingando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, that's, that's good, that's good. All right. And you are a teacher in, in your job. Uh -huh. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. O sea, trabaja en escuela. Yes, uh -huh. kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of, yes. Yes. Yes, I work I work in a school in the morning. Yes. Oh. In the morning and uh well in the afternoon I don't work. I just stay stay in my house with my with my son. And uh on Saturdays I work at a private place or an academy and also with with English cooperative. So with us. Okay. okay. Nice. Well, I have a lot of free time. A lot of free time and and I have money. A lot of money too. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, right? Gracias al inglés. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Or thanks to English. Yes, I am yes. making money. <laughs> That's great, teacher. All right, guys. We're gonna go back to the main session right now, and we're going to continue with the next part. All right, let's go back. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go back. Hi, we're back. I'm sorry, I was speaking and I was mute, muted. All right, I think everybody's back. We're just waiting for some people. Okay. We're back. Now, everybody, we're going to continue. Thank you for your participation in part number two and also in part number three. Okay, now I'm going to show you or explain to you how we use could in different situations. Let me share the presentation with you. So people, please let me know when you see it. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Your presentation? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, this one. Let's learn about could. Before before we continue, let's brainstorm. People, what is what is good? Give me words or, or brainstorm. Podría? No, no, brainstorm. Ideas of what could is. I mean the use. You use that. permission, you say. <laughs> okay, permission. What else? What, what, what do you think? To give suggestions. 
okay, to give suggestions. What else? An order, order, no. To give orders. Don't order. worry, I'm just, I'm just asking you for ideas, okay? Maybe okay. good, maybe bad. What else? For request. Okay. For request. Mm -hmm. What else? Can we use to recommend? No. Sorry? Recommend. Recommend. To recommend. To recommend. Okay, to recommend. What else? Prohibition. Sorry? Prohibition. Okay. Okay, prohibition. All right, uh, people, we got different different situations here, recommendations or command or request, uh, suggestions, prohibition and permission, okay? But could, could is not used in all these situations. No, 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 okay, no. Uh, let me show you, for example, to recommend, I don't think so, no, okay? To give orders, of course, no, okay? For request, I will tell you. To give suggestions, no, I don't think so. Prohibition, probably, and permission, probably, as well. Or let me tell you that, yes, for request, we can use code for request for prohibition in the negative form and permission. Okay, yes, yes. Now let's go and see what the real is, the real thing is. Let's just start. Look, it's here. Acosta. We use could in the following situations. Look up there. We use could in the following situations. In red, you see the situations. Okay. Possibilities, okay, possibilidades, se usa el could, que significa podría o podía, okay, o pude, yes. Possibilities, posibilidades, polite request. People, what is request? Or, or what is polite request? Peticiones. Peticiones. I'm sorry? Peticiones. Formales. Yes. Formales. Okay, right? Yes. Right? We got past ability, una habilidad pasada. Okay? Yes. Past inabilities, possibilities for permission. Okay? Yes. That's what we use good for. Okay? Lo que está acá es como se usa. All right? But look at this, at this. Look at this. Subject Mauricio, right? After the subject, we need the modal, in this case, could. Mauricio could, over here, look. Subject plus could. Al igual que ayer, también el verbo va en su forma base, okay? Should, and today is could. Could, then the verb in the base form, learn. Mauricio could learn. Complement French this year. Mauricio could learn learn, sorry, French this year. Mauricio podría aprender francés este año. Guys, what is this example? ¿Qué es este ejemplo? Possibility, polite request, past ability, past inability, possibility for permission. What is it? Possibilities. Uh, past. Past. Uh... No. What is the meaning of inability? Possibility. Inabilities. Yes. Inabilidades. Okay, so it's a past ability. Una habilidad pasada. Example, I could play soccer. Podía jugar football. That's the past ability. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. So it says here, Mauricio podía, podría, sorry, podría aprender francés este año. 
si quitamos este año, podríamos decir, Mauricio, good learn French, que significa, para lo que está, uh, está Mauricio Polilla, aprender francés, o ya no puede aprender francés. Okay. Maybe a physical problem, I don't know. Okay. Let me continue with this. All right. Let's continue. Look, possibilities. I have examples for possibilities or for each of the categories in which we used could. Look, future possibilities. Okay, future possibilities. Oh, people, the negative form, el negativo acá está. For the negative form, we use could not or the contractive form couldn't. Could not or couldn't, okay? Posibilidad para un futuro. You could go to the stadium next week. Okay, tú podrías ir al estadio la siguiente semana. Okay, yes, it's a possibility, but a possibility for the future. Okay, yes, you could listen to Adele's new album. Tú podrías escuchar el álbum, nuevo álbum de Adele. Okay, future possibility. Okay, future possibility. People, let's stop here for a while. I need examples, two examples or three examples using could. Usando could para posibilidades de futuro. People, try, please. You could study French next year. Ah, that's the same example. Wow. No, <laughs> what I want is your example, your own example. Okay. People? Uh, I could do exercise tomorrow. Okay, I could do exercise tomorrow. Podría hacer ejercicio tomorrow, okay? Mañana. <laughs> all right, all right. Good example. People, continue. I could go Ready? to the Sun Sonate Sunday. I could go to. I could go to Sun Sonate. I could go to Sun Sonate uh, uh, Sunday. Okay, on Sunday, on Sunday. Okay, very good, very good example. Thank you very much, Gerardo, for your example. Anybody else? Maria could be kinder to the customers. Could be, sorry? Maria could be kinder for the customers. Kind, kinder. Oh, kinder, kinder, okay. Kinder, kinder. Okay. All right, all right. She could, it's possible, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, anybody else? Yes, I could go the San Miguel Carnival the next Saturday. Oh, wow. I could go to the San Miguel Carnival next, next Saturday. Yes. Hey, take us, brother. <laughs> <laughs> take us. No, I don't, I don't like, I don't like parties. I don't like carnivals, I don't like parties. No. Yes. No, I'm telling you. For, for example, uh, bueno, este, este, esta semana es la, 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 la de carnaval aquí en Osun. Eh, fiestas. Para el, el mismo día de los dos. Yes. But, no, no. Boring. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, people. Thank you for the examples. So remember, Usamos could para posibilidades futuras, okay? Yes, that's what it is. Now look, polite request. Polite request significa un favor educado o una solicitud educada o formal. It says here for favors, para favores, okay? People remember, the polite request is a question, okay? The polite request is a question. All right, es una pregunta. Cuando nos referimos a request, que es solicitud, es una pregunta. Okay. For example, uh, could you pass me the pen, please? Exactly, exactly. Could you pass me the pen? Exactly, exactly. Right? It's a favor, es un favor. Okay. Podrías abrir la puerta, podrías ir a la tienda, podrías conseguirme, etc. Right? Es un favor. Look at examples. Could you open the window? Podrías abrir la ventana. 
Could you go to the store? ¿Podrías ir a la tienda? Could you tell me about the accident? ¿Podrías contarme o decirme acerca del de accidente? Could you close the door? ¿Podrías cerrar la puerta? Okay, yes. As you see, it's a question, right? Es una pregunta, a request. Guys, can you please practice? Give me examples. Um, could you repeat again? Can I say could that? You, could you repeat again? Uh -huh. No, is that. could you repeat again? I say that. <laughs> what do you say? Could you repeat again? Could you repeat it again? That's my example. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Are you okay? No, it's okay. <laughs> the... No, are... yes, yes, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no, but are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. All right, all right. People, more examples? <laughs> Very. Could I not attend to work tomorrow? Repeat, please. Could I not attend to work tomorrow? Is that is that is that request or permission? Permission. It's it's permission, people. It's permission. It's, it's permission. It's not a remember request is un favor. Okay, es un favor. And in this case, it's like you are asking for permission, right? You're asking for permission. But the example is good, Ulysses. The example is good, all right? Thank you for that. Anybody else? Alguien más? Uh, me teacher, could you uh, open the door? All right, could you open the door? No, but it's an emblem, it's not like this. Right? Smart move, smart move. No. No dijo, es la misma, teacher. Y se dijo, se dijo open, se dijo al revés. <laughs> But it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. All right, people, remember, request, it's a question, okay? The next one, past ability, una habilidad pasada. Past ability, all right? Look at the example, Sonia could eat more when she was young, okay? Sonia podía comer más cuando era joven, right? Una habilidad pasada, right? That's a past ability. Fabricio could play soccer very well. Fabricio podía jugar fútbol muy bien, okay? And now in, in the present, it is not possible, okay? For example, um, in my case, I could, I could play soccer. Now I can't, no puedo, ya no puedo. Okay, ligamentos rotos, impossible. So, past ability, right? Now, another example. You could draw perfectly, okay? Tú podías dibujar perfectamente. Yes, podías, right? Past ability. You could ride a bike before the accident. Tú podías usar una motocicleta antes del accidente. Okay, yes, that's what it is. People, can you mention past abilities? Your past abilities. Carlos could paint a beautiful landscape. Okay. Okay, Carlos could paint a beautiful landscape. All right. Yes, podía pintar. All right. Guys, what else? Past abilities? Your past abilities. I could run when yeah. I was. And today? Today, no, I can't. Why not? My knee hurts. Which knee? The left knee. Okay, we have the same problem. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yes, the left knee is my problem too. <laughs> Sad. All right, all right. People, continue with examples. Guys, hello. Tatiana, Carlos, Carlos. Hello. No, some more people. Me teacher. Yes, Yumara, thank you. 
Uh, I could speak English perfectly. Repeat, please. I could speak English perfectly. 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 Yes, I could speak English perfectly. Okay, podía hablar inglés correctamente. Ahora, ya no. <laughs> right, right. Okay, okay. People, let's continue. <laughs> With another use of could. En el módulo uno, teacher. All right. That's the guess, okay. Look, possibility for permission. Possibility for permission. Could I attend the training? Dice ahí, ¿podría asistir a la, a la capacitación? Okay. Usted está pidiendo permiso y aquí dice, posibilidad para permiso. Okay. It's possible. All right. You're asking for permission. Could I visit the clients tomorrow? ¿Podría visitar los clientes mañana? Could I finish the report next week? ¿Podría completar o concluir el reporte de la siguiente semana? Could I not work on the production area this afternoon? ¿Podría no trabajar en la reproducción esta tarde? And that's how it is. Possibility for permission. People, give me a second here. Hold on, give me a minute. Okay, let's let's continue with this. All right, guys, can you give me examples using this? Using could for possibility for for permission. Guys, hi. Me teacher, Emerson. Hello. Me teacher. Yes, yes. I'm listening. Could could I eat one more sandwich? Okay, could I eat one more sandwich or two or three? <laughs> yes, guys, more examples. Um, could I repair, repair the computer? Could I repair the computer? All right, all right. What else, people? I'm, I'm listening, listening, listening. Guys. Oh. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> no more. Could you update my window, teacher? Could you, sorry? Could you update my window? Your window. Okay, your window. Could you update? Yes. All right, all right. That's okay, that's okay. People, we have we have finished with this. Let me just close this, this thing here. Oh no, give me a second. That's good, that's good. Okay, now we're going to continue and this one, this activity is off the book, okay? The activity that we're going to do right now is off the, off the, of the program, but we're going to do it after, after we do part number four in the book, okay? Yes, let me go over here. Look, part number four. Oh, but wait, let me go up here to part number three. Look, use the modal verb could to express possibility, okay? Acá solamente dice posibilidad, okay? Pero se usa para distintas, Ocasiones. Okay, people, remember that. Okay, structure, subject, plus should, aquí dice should, pero no es should, es good. Okay, observen. Okay, subject plus could plus verb plus complement. 
Example, you could request a day off. Tú podrías solicitar un día libre. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation and we could take the company's transportation. Okay. Es lo que estábamos viendo, okay. Recordemos, could significa, okay, podía, pude y podría. Okay. That's what it is. Part number four. Read the situations. Okay. Es lo que está acá. This is the situation. Okay. One, two, three, and four. With the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with good. All right. Share the sentences with your classmates. El quinto ustedes lo ponen, okay? Y luego ponen el good acá. All right. For example, con el quinto le ayudo para que sepan cómo se va a hacer. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Hold on, somebody. Okay, look, for example, you have COVID. It's an example, okay? That's the situation. You have COVID, COVID-19. Okay. In the, over here, in the espacio blanco que está acá abajo, pondremos una posibilidad o algo de lo que esa persona podría hacer. Okay. To give a solution to the problem, okay? The problem is COVID, okay? You could, okay, you could, tú podrías, okay, you could go Me? to the, you should go to the insurance company, okay? Insurance company el seguro, okay? You, you, sorry, you could go, you could go to the insurance company. Tú podrías ir, okay, al seguro, right? And it's like I'm gonna say, okay? Yes, people, go ahead. I'm going to give you like six minutes to do this. <clears throat> if you have any questions, let me know. Probably in my eyes right now.
people. Let me know when you finish. <clears throat> People, did you finish? Nope, not yet. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, just. Almost, almost. Okay. Thank you, Carlos, for, for finishing. It's very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, thank you. Guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, I want a volunteer. I want a volunteer to share. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Bernardo, please. The first, you don't have a car. I could buy a car. So uh, number two, someone of your family is sick, I could take him or take her to a doctor, to see a doctor. You need to request a legal document. I could ask it to a lawyer. Um, four, you feel tired or sick, I could take vacations if I am tired. And if I am sick, I could take medicine. And the number five, you can't sleep. You could take a cup of tea. All right, all right, very good. Thank you, Ana, for your examples. Excellent. Let's continue with another person or another volunteer. Me, the gentleman. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Thank you. First, um, I. I, I need to read the essay or only yes, my yes, answer? Yes, read, read both. Okay. Uh, Hello? You don't have a car. Someone... Uh, continue. Hello, hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Someone of your family is sick. Is sick. And you could go to the drugstore and buy some medicine. Third, 
you need to request a legal document. You could call a lawyer to help you. Four, you feel tired or sick and you could visit your doctor. Okay. And five, you have take in the inventory. One more thing. Can you please repeat the last one, Carlos? I couldn't hear the last one. You have a mistake. No. I don't. Carlos, I, can, I cannot hear you. Repeat it. Repeat it. Don't. One more time. Wait, wait. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> the last one, please. I can. I can hear. You. I think it's my internet. My internet is slow. Hello. You have the inventory. Hello. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, you have a mistake in the inventory. And you could count one more time. Okay. 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 Very good. Let's continue. My internet people is very unstable. Hopefully, with the camera on, it will work fine. Okay, just fine. Anybody else? A volunteer, I mean, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get, let's start with the ladies, okay? Tatiana, and then Carlos. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. You don't have a car. You could you could buy one. Or you could walk. Um, someone of your family is sick. Uh, you could take care of him. Um, you need to requ request, request a legal document. Excuse me? Request, request, yes. Okay, okay. You need to request a legal document. You could consult a liar. You should, uh, sorry. You could co consult a liar. Okay, consult, consult. Con consult a liar. Lawyer, lawyer. 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 <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could consult a lawyer. Okay, lawyer. Lawyer, no. lawyer, no, lawyer, no, es mentiroso, okay. Ah. Eso es, eso es. Se parecen no. igual. Es la mujer, usted misma, la mujer. Ah. Eh, ah. You feel yes. tired? You feel tired or sick? Um, you could rest or take uh, medicine. Okay, you can uh, rest or uh, not. Huh? Okay, excuse me. Continue, continue. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. You could uh, celebrate. Okay, you could celebrate. And exactly tomorrow is Thanksgiving. You're right. No, it was today. Today is today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is this the. the my sister's bride, my sister's uh, Friday. I mean, Black Friday, no, no defense. She, she's very black. Okay, we're going to continue guys uh, with another person. And that was Carlos, right? Carlos? Vladimir? Okay, ahorita. I could take a taxi to my work. Someone your family is sick, I could take him to the doctor. You need to request a legal document. Uh, I could request the, the, the document from my lawyer. Uh, I feel sick. Uh, I could take to has been the, the fight. I don't have lunch ready. I could 
order my lunch through the Google app. Repeat, repeat the last one, please. I don't have lunch ready. I could order my lunch through the Ugo app. Okay, okay, through Ugo, yes. Okay, all right. Let's continue with another person, guys. Another volunteer. Me teacher, Emerson. Okay, Emerson, thank you for, for sharing. You don't have a car. You could take me to the for to go to the super selectors. Number two, someone of your family is sick. Could I take you to the hospital? And the number number three, you needed to request a legal document. I could request my passport the next month. Number four, you feel tired and sick. Could I have a permission for, for to go to the doctor? And number five, you have an exam of next Monday. I call the study of the unit in Sunday. All right, all right, on Sunday, on Sunday, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, is there anybody else? Guys, hello. We don't know. Guys? Carlos Alberto? Gerardo, hello. Cecilia, hi. Teacher, ando, ando haciendo unas cosas en, del trabajo, no, 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 no estoy disponible. Ok, ok. Teacher, ando haciendo unas cosas Ok, we're going to continue, guys, with the next part, and that is next, that is uh, number six, I'm sorry, part number six down there, as you see. Okay. okay, look people. Look at this. Number five, your turn. Road delay. Choose, Choose one of the situations in exercise number four and create a conversation. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uno de los cinco está acá. Ok. One of them. One of them. Yes. Let me read. Choose one of the situations in exercise number four and create a conversation. Student A has a situation. Student B, student B provides possibilities. See, possibilities, not only one. Ok. And this is just change roles. Ok. So that's what we are going to do, all right? But people, uh, both, both, ambos, ambos tendrán una, una, a situation, okay? Both are going to have a situation, okay? Yes. For example, uh, Bernardo tells me his, his situation and I give him some possibilities or some possible solutions. And then I give him my problem and he gives me his solutions. Okay, people? Hey, teacher. Do you understand? All right. Hey, Let me just stop here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, give me a second.
Okay, people, let's go. Vamos. Let's go, let's go, let's go. People, let's join the groups, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, teacher. Okay. People. Estamos inventando nuestras historias uh, para okay. poder pasarlas. Cada quien. <laughs> that, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Yo digo que el mío va a ser el de. I'm sorry. Tengo alguien enfermo. Ah, que mi problema es que tengo que estoy editando yo. <risa> no problem. Ok. Uh, ok. People, people, work, please. I, 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 need, to, I need to hear you sharing, sharing ideas, writing something. Uh, aquí estamos, que ver. Bueno, aquí empecé más o menos. You know, bueno, aquí sería you know what, ¿verdad? You know what? No, así va. It's okay. No, no, you know what? El signo sabe bien. Yes. Ah. You know what? I have a problem. Someone. Punto ahí, punto, 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 punto. Someone. Someone. Someone in my family. Uh, is sick. Vaya, ¿qué podría decir ahí, Vladimir? <risa> ¿Alguna? ¿Qué era sugerencia, no? Recomendación, eh, perdón. Bueno, 
sorry, sorry. Okay, what's wrong? Uh, no, no sería así, va, teacher. No, sería hello. ¿Qué pasa? Uh -huh. hello. Sería hello. Uh, I am sorry. Okay, people, I'll be back. Okay. I'm sick too. How is it going? Hello, comma. How is it? Um, is it uh, uh, exactly, exactly. Not so good. Really, really. He said real, real, really. Right. Yeah. Arriba, arriba. Okay, Good. Ah, sí. Right. Por un poco. Ni por la puso. What happened? Are you okay? Like, you see me up there. I have a fish. What's the thing? No. We can't understand. Headache. Uh -huh. Headache. I have a. I have a headache. 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 I'm a carrot. Fish. Fish. Dice que a usted no le ha dado gripe. Mm, yes, like two weeks ago, hace como dos semanas. Mm, yes, pero muy sencillo. No muy, ¿qué level? Level. Exactly. Yes. And you, what about you guys? A mí bien fuerte. Dos en una me ha dado. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Qué triste. It is sad. It's so sad. ¿Y Marta dice? Ahorita le digo. This the my hair tour. Okay, I'll be back. Volveré. Okay. But you, you could, you could uh, buy new. It says it says there I have a problem with computer or with my computer or with the computer. Okay, it's very slow. Yesterday it was working. Uh, Um, it says you could call support maintenance. This maintenance is fine. Maintenance. You could call maintenance. I already called them. They told me that the computer is damaged. Okay. You could buy a new one. All right. All right. That's fine. Ahorrar se dice save, ¿verdad, teacher? 
Save, yes. Save. bien así yeah, yeah. teacher y este podría decir hay uh, I have a problem too uh, yeah no you can say speaking of problems Speaking. Uh, Podríamos sustituir esto. What? Sorry. You, you, you can say, speaking of problems, I can put it in the chat. Es lo que diría, diría este, Imelda. Speaking of problems, hablando de problemas, I have a problem too, puede decir. Teacher, eh, apagar es turn off. Yes. Este. Ah. My, uh, my uh, card. Mm. My car don't oh, have it. My car doesn't. Ah. No, eh, para decir no tiene gasolina. Ah, oh, my car, my car. O puede decir así, mire, para que use los, los phrasal verbs. I have run out of gas. En el chat lo puse. I have run out of gas. Sorry, ran con A, con A. Ran. Yes. My car ran out of gas. Okay, okay. Continue, guys. I'll be back. Volveré, okay? Okay. ¿Podría devolverte el carro mañana? Could I? Allá sería, could I? Mm -hmm. Could I? Could I? Devolverte sería? How do you say devolverte? Retorno. 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 A what? What? El carro. Regresar el carro. Return the car tomorrow. Return the car. Así. Could you bring back? Could you bring bring, back. bring bring back? Bring back the car. Ah, uh, okay. Tomorrow. Yes, I could. No problem. Ahí hicimos una fusión 
metiches de todo. Sorry. Hicimos una fusión entre el, alguien enfermo y alguien que no tenía disponibilidad del carro. Así uh, que. Ok, ok. Están las dos matadas de un solo tiro. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to read soon. I'm just, I'm just seeing what you're writing right now. ¿Cómo? I'm going to read soon, ok? Yo voy a leer todo. Ok. But of course, coma. Ah, de leer. O punto. O si yo Bye, teacher. That's it, teacher. Mm -hmm. El último, gracias, el suyo. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me check this out. Aquí es deep, mire. ¿Dónde? Did, porque he pasado la pregunta. Did you visit a doctor? Yes, I did. Oh, yes. You could take her. Después de take acá, pon el her. A ella, llevarla a ella. I can at this moment. I can at this moment because I don't have a car. Quita la coma. Yes. I could lend you mine. Are you sure? Can you lend me your car? Yes, I could. Here are the keys. I hope your family feels. Póngale aquí en vez de feel, póngale get. Get. Gets, sorry. Gets with S. Thank you so much. Could I bring it? Could you? Could you bring it back? No, espérame, espérame. Could I bring back the car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you could. Solo of course. Esta parte no es necesario. Solo of course is good. Okay. Okay, guys, continue. Let me go to another group, okay? Hi. Did you finish it? Almost. Yes, yes teacher. Creo que sí está bien. Sí, tú, I have a headache and temperature, I have a headache too. Estamos describiendo nuestra realidad. Nuestra sad reality. En el cuerpo. En el cuerpo. En el cuerpo. En el cuerpo. En el is que falta so so sad to hear that yes i did it is but did you receive the correct you guys but did you receive the doctor now yes i did Yes, I did. I went to the doctor. Ponga la ca, my body. Mi cuerpo, my body. Y aquí sería, it is so sad to hear that. It is so sad. Today, ponga la aquí. No, al revés, al revés. It is. Ah, sí, 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 sorry. Yes. So now, it today. yes, I did. I went to the doctor and I am taking the medicine. Well, I hope to you today. Okay. okay. See? Today. Yes, I did. I went to the doctor and I am taking the medicine. The medicine. Well, I have you feel better sound. Thank you. I job too. The chair. Yes. Esa de la cabeza, no sé cómo se, cómo se pronuncia. Eric. Eric. Eric, yes. Eric, that's what it is. Okay. 
Eso le iba a decir de Mercedes. Okay, le puse, eh, y no voy a llorar. Mal, la letra está muy chiquita, ¿no? vas a llorar más. Right, that's true, that's true. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Did you finish? Tenemos una consulta, teacher. Ajá. En, 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 quiero ver. Para responder esta pregunta, ¿está bien usar could o se usa can? Of course. Solo diga of course. ¿Cualquiera? No, of course diga. Ah, ok. So, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Ah, por supuesto. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course. Uy, todavía no hay que Thank you, the, the, uh, teacher. Thank you for. Thank you. To, for your help. For helping. For helping. For helping. Ah. For helping me. Okay. Well, teacher. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes, sure. yes sure. okay. Let's go back to the main session right now. Let's go. I will see you guys back there. Okay. Okay, hi, we're back. We're just waiting for the rest to come back. Okay, I think everybody's back. I think they're all back. Let me see. Then we just change. All right. We're gonna start with the with the with the Carlos verse. Carlos? Me? Yes. Okay. You and Carlos. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, Vladimir. Do you know what? Do you know what? I have a problem. Someone in my family is sick. Hello, I am sorry to hear that. Did you visit the doctor? Yes, I did, but she doesn't feel better. Oh, okay. You could take her at the hospital. I can't at this moment because I don't have a car. I could lend you mine. Are you sure? Could you lend me your car? Yes, I could. Here are the keys. I hope your family gets better. Thank you so much. Could I bring back the car tomorrow? Of course. Thank you for your help. All right, all right, of course, of course, thank you. Okay. Thank you guys for thank your you. participation. All right, let's continue with uh, the other one, with Jose, Bernardo and Tatiana. Okay, teacher. Hello, Bernardo, how are you doing today? Hi, Tatiana, I have a problem with my computer. It is very slow. Yesterday, it was working halfway through. You could call man, maintenance, maintenance? Maintenance. Maintenance. I already called them. 
they told me that the computer is damaged. You could buy a new one. Okay, I will start to save money this month. Speaking of problem, I have a problem too. Really? What happened, Tatiana? <laughs> My car ran out of gas. You could repair the fuel gauge, take it to a mechanic. Good idea. Could you can come to take me to a mechanic? Mechanic. Mechanic. Yes, or, yes, of course. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thank you for helping me. Okay, thank you guys for your participation. Let's continue here. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, with Emerson, Emerson, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. How is going, Mila? Oh, no, so good. Really, I had a flu. Really? I am sick too and have a headache and a temperature. I had a headache too and my body is pain and I feel tired. It is so sad to have that. But did you receive the doctor today? Yes, I did. I went to the doctor and I am taking the me medicine. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. I hope you too. All right. Okay, it's only uh, out of the 20, 20 people that are here, only six are available. Okay, so let's continue with the same six people. And the next activity consists of past abilities. Okay. Go to the chat and I will send you the information there. Okay, there you go. Not something, not something long, something very short. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, the activity consists of writing, writing a paragraph, talking about the past capabilities. Okay. Of course, using could. Okay. Yes. Uh, just from, from four to five lines. Okay. From four to five lines. We're going to do that.
Ibu, did you finish? Not yet. No, yet. Did you? People, did you finish now? Yes. Teacher. Okay. Emerson, Imelda, hello. Vladimir, Tatiana. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Sure. Not yet, not yet. One moment, please. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry, Carlos. All right. Share, please. I volunteer. Thank you. <coughs> volunteer, please. Go ahead. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, please. Thanks. When I was a teen, I could practice many sports. I could practice judo. I belonged to a dojo. It was a little far from my house, but that wasn't an impossibility for me. I could practice for many hours and I could go walk into my house after the training. Now, I couldn't do those things because I hurt my knee. I can't present it. I can't do those things. Okay, I, I can't do those things because I hurt. Okay, because I hurt, I hurt my knee. All right, all right. Let's continue. Tatiana, Imelda, Emerson, Carlos. Me teacher. Okay, Imelda, go ahead. In my world, I am a responsible, responsible person. I like to in, in work. And my work, I have to organization and plan the meeting. The three, four, I am sociable and three to have 
good communi communication my with my colleague. I think I, I okay okay. I think you kind of misunderstood the, the, the activity, but it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Imelda, for for sharing the activity. Let's continue. Emerson, Carlos, Tatiana. Me, me Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir, go ahead. Then Carlos and Resto. Sorry. Vladimir. I could play the guitar when I was seven years old. I could also I could play also soccer. Until five years ago, after that time, I had in, in an injury for which I no longer practice this that sport. I could play chess, by, but by not practicing it, I have become a bit slow when thinking about the movies, the moves. All right. All right. Thank you, Vladimir, for sharing. Carlos Ernesto, you go, please. Okay. And um, when I was young, I could use the roller skates I had in color black. But nowadays, I can't use it. I fall. I fall down very easily. That's it. Okay. You fall down very easily. All right. All right. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Guys, hi. Tatiana, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I am it. eating. I am eating. I am eating. Okay. Emerson, did you share? Okay, teacher. Please, thanks. Um, I could I could drink hot beverage be, before my dental surgery. The most sad is so much I love the hot coffee, but I found the others other forms for to take for to drink the coffee. For example, mochaccino. So, okay. All right, all right. Well, I don't think we have more people uh, available to share. Anybody else? No, nope, nobody. Okay, people, uh, just a quick, I'm going to give you some news. Probably tomorrow, tomorrow or Saturday, Saturday morning, you are going to receive an email, okay? This email is for a survey that we're going to do the next week, okay? I will tell you in Spanish, uh, este mañana o el día sábado, más tardar, no creo que el lunes, creo que el sábado, mañana o el sábado van a recibir un correo de la encuesta que se va a hacer el día martes, o sea, el último día de clase, okay? Esa encuesta no se hace ahorita o en este momento o ni mañana ni el sábado ni el, el siguiente día, sino que se hace el día martes, bueno, o será el día martes, que es el último día de clases, aquí en la clase, todos juntos. ¿Ok? Así que si reciben ese correo, solamente respondan de recibido y listo, no hagan ninguna encuesta. ¿Ok? Yes, just that. All right. And remember, continue working on the platform. Sigan uh, trabajando en la plataforma, ¿ok? Para que no les dé ningún problema más adelante. ¿Ok? Yes. And pay attention to every little detail. ¿Ok? Let's see. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present teacher. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Cecilia Jasmine Mejibar Soto. Present teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Was here, but she left. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Hello. Emerson Ulises. Felix. Present teacher. Francisco Sánchez López. Present teacher. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. 
Present teacher. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Hello. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Neftalí Humberto Ramírez Ramos. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Uh, Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present. Yes. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Yancy Olivares Raimundo. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present. Carlos Ernesto Guerra Guerra. Present teacher. And Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present. Okay, people. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure or it's been a pleasure. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, if you have any questions, you can stay. If you have questions or doubts, you can stay. All right, people, see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night, everybody. Okay. Night, teacher. Night, teacher. I'm sorry. Alex, I'm sorry you're working. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Hey everybody. I'm going to give you going to give you a quick review on how to use could, right? Modal verb could. Okay. Modal verb could. Let me make it a little bigger over here. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to show you how, how we use good in the two different, sorry, the three different structures, affirmative, negative, and questions, okay? Let me do it. I'll, I'll show you again what we use good for, okay? Mainly we use good for, for possibilities, we can use it for request, right? Uh, past ability, only those ones, okay? Only those ones. And let me show you here. Wait, give me a second. Okay, I will show you right now. Affirmative, let me put it like this. Okay, that's the affirmative one. I, I could play the piano, okay? I could play the piano, okay? This can be a possibility or it can be a past ability. Podría ser una, 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 una habilidad pasada o podría ser una posibilidad. Podría uh, jugar, perdón, podría tocar el piano o podía tocar el piano, all right? That's the affirmative, that's the affirmative one. Let's continue here. I'm gonna show you the negative too. Wait, I don't know how to get this.
Okay. Uh, for that, we use could not. Okay. I cannot play the piano. Okay. I cannot play the piano. And one more, which is the question. For the question, we have this the, the next structure. Could I play the piano? Okay. Yes. As you see, we got could in three different structures: affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay. If you have the, if you, if you, well, it is possible, it is possible to include a WH question before could, okay? Uh, example, when, when is cuando, okay? When, and look at this. Like I said, this part is optional, that's optional, okay? Depending on what you want to Look, when, look at this. When could I play the piano? Okay, when could I play the piano? And that's how it is done, right? People, uh, I'm just, I wanna encourage you to continue with the practice, with the constant, with the, this, this unstoppable practice, okay? You have to continue, you have to continue moving forward, you know, and uh, your goal is to speak English, to learn English, to write in, in English, to, to listen, to be able to do, everything uh well what we do in spanish right that's what we, we want in english so people continue with the practice please all right and i will see you next time take care everybody